gonna do a grilled mahi-mahi with a pineapple jicama salsa. And to start with, we have some raw mahi-mahi, approximately six ounces each. And I'm going to marinate this in a little bit of olive oil and some fresh lime juice. And you wanna start this right after you preheat your grill to finish the fish. And in the meantime, I'm gonna concentrate on the salsa. This is one of those things that, you, again, you wanna let sit for about an hour or so before you eat it. The flavors really develop as the longer it, it, come, it sits together. We have some fresh pineapple. And I've already taken the top and the bottom off and I've split it in half. And I've removed all those brown spots that are usually located on a pineapple. Next thing I did was cut it in half and I'm gonna quarter it again. And this is to remove the core of the pineapple. And we want to cut this a small dice, into a small dice. So I'm going to come in from the bottom with my knife and cut lengthwise. Now small dice is quarter inch by quarter inch. So I come in with a knife. Remember that the nicer your cuts are, the better it looks on the plate, and the more you impress your guests. Okay, our next task is a minced red onion. And when you clean up an onion, you cut off the ends and you peel it, you'll notice that there's these distinct lines. And that's basically your guideline for how you want to begin this cut. So holding my knife properly, I'm gonna follow those lines parallel with a knife. And when I mean say mince, I mean about 1 8 inch. And as I do this, I'm leaving the end connected. I'm not cutting all the way through with my knife. And I turn the knife this direction, and I get a nice fine dice. Next we have jicama. This has already been peeled. And we're gonna cut this into a fine julienne, which is what you see right here. One of the easiest ways of doing this, and one of the safest ways, is to first cut one of the edges square with your knife. Okay, and that's gonna help it keep from rocking back and forth. It's gonna be a stable edge. And I'm gonna take just a nice fine little shaving off of there. I'm gonna line these up into layers of two. And then come in with a knife and just do a nice fine julienne. That aside. Okay, next is tomato concasse. Now, tomato concasse is a peeled and seeded tomato. So, what we've done here is taken a, a nice ripe plum tomato and took our, our paring knife and just crisscrossed the top and then we removed the core. Once that was done, we dropped it into boiling water only for about 10 to 20 seconds. And you'll notice that the peel will start to release almost immediately in the hot water. Once that's done, we put it into cold ice water to cool it down quickly, and we peeled the tomato. So there's no skin in the salsa. It's this nice, smooth, mellow flavor. And to remove the seeds, just like with the pineapple, I'm gonna quarter it. And then take out the inside. And we're going to be doing small dice. There's our tomato. We're going to start by making a vinaigrette with some lime juice, a little bit of olive oil, some salt and pepper, some cilantro, and our jalapeno peppers. Then I'm going to add our jicama, pineapple, tomato, and some onion. Give that a nice light toss. Just let that set, set aside for about an hour while we're cooking our fish. So I have a nice hot grill here. I'm going to season it with an oiled rag. This is going to help prevent the fish from sticking. And then onto the grill. All right, so in order to get the crosshatch pattern on the fish, 
I laid it on at a 45 degree angle, and that's going to turn it in the opposite direction. So to flip the fish, it's a delicate piece of protein. I always use a piece of spatula as well as tongs. Flip it over. So we finished grilling off our mahi-mahi, and it's time to plate up. And today we're serving it with some roasted sweet potatoes, as well as some sautéed asparagus. Start by putting the asparagus right in the center of the plate. The sweet potato right below it. And our fish. Get our salsa over the top. And there we have it. Grilled mahi mahi with pineapple jicama salsa. Chef's Menu is brought to you by the Culinary Studies Program at Australia Mountain Community College. For today's recipe, please visit this address.